in honor of Earth Day on the horizon and in keeping with the theme of hope for today. Our Time for All Ages celebrates some of the young climate activists of color who are making a difference around the world today. But before we begin that, I'd like to have a word with just our younger congregants. So adults, if you've been wanting a refill on your cup of coffee, this would be a good time to do it. Okay, kids, here's the thing. Today we're talking about hope, the sources of hope and the things that keep us going or bring us back to the center and help us imagine a better world. And I don't think we can talk about sources of hope without talking about you, because you are one of my greatest sources of hope. How big your hearts are, how much you care for each other, how fiercely you defend your beliefs that everyone should have a voice, including this planet that we live on. As I get to know you and watch you grow up, I know beyond a doubt that your world will be a better one than mine. So I think the adults are coming back with their full cups of coffee. So without further ado, let us learn from a few young climate activists of color in their own words. You probably know Greta Thunberg, the bold Swedish activist who has challenged world leaders to take swift action against climate change. Greta's work is important and impactful, but she's not alone. Our society often overlooks important contributions by Black and Indigenous activists. So it's time to meet Autumn Peltier, who says it's all about making the choice to change and to be part of change and caring for the planet. We have the ability to help Mother Earth before it gets worse, and we need to work together as United Nations, as we all need water. Zanaji Artis, who says, I'm especially passionate about addressing environmental injustice in Arctic communities and researching methods of adaptation, government aid, and cultural preservation. More work needs to be done for communities like theirs who are facing immediate changes to where they call home. Thomas Lopez, who says, every strong relationship I've seen in my life is built on communication, respect, and reciprocity We've stopped communicating with the earth and the natural world around us. We've stopped respecting our shared ecosystems. We are taking from the earth faster than it can replenish. There is a place for everyone in this moment and everyone's role is important. Zina Abdul Karim, who writes, minority and low income communities do not have equal resources and socioeconomic status. Therefore, in terms of solving the climate crisis, we must dismantle systems of oppression to assure that certain communities are not at greater environmental risk than others. Yolian Ogbu. My homeland, Eritrea, in the Horn of East Africa, has been facing the brunt of climate change for years now, seeing heavy droughts and affecting my people's way of life. I saw how much climate change disproportionately affected Black youth, and especially youth from the Global South. So I felt like it was my personal responsibility to be a part of the movement and fight for action. And the Guardians of the Forest, a collective of indigenous and community leaders from Latin America, Indonesia, and Africa, united to protect the world's forests. It is not only indigenous peoples who are fighting, there are many young people from elsewhere who are also supporting us. So I want to ask you, not only young people, let's all join hands and go to fight. Let's get people to hear us because we cannot do it alone. We also need help from adults around the world to continue this fight. There are so many other climate activists doing amazing work around the world, including right here. Who are your local Earth heroes? What are they doing to make a difference? How can you join them? There are so many other climate activists doing amazing work around the world, including right here. Who are your local Earth heroes? What are they doing to make a difference? 
and how can you join them? If these questions interest you, I encourage you to find out the answers. And if you have an idea of how Northwoods can support your local Earth heroes, we want to hear about it. Perhaps we can find a way to support them together.